Hey, are you freaking out because you ate too many calories? Well, this is a very common problem. Well, I don't even want to say it's a problem. It's a very uh, common worry that people have and they get really guilty about it that they ate too much food. And it's usually like they'll overeat one day and then they'll feel guilty. They'll feel guilty while they're doing it and you'll feel guilty after you do it. And then you get into this cycle of like, well, I ruined everything. I can't believe I did that. And then you're just feeling bad about yourself. And then you just go down this uh, spiraling path of uh, more calories and more destruction and continuing to feel crappy about yourself. And instead, here's a couple of things that I do and why I'm never really worried about going over my calories uh, and what what uh how you can do that as well first of all once you get an you got to get an understanding of how the body works okay and calories and their relation to your body weight um to keep it short and sweet your body weight it whatever your current body weight is is determined by the amount of calories that you consume and there's a certain amount of calories that will keep you at your current body weight okay so that's called maintenance and let's just say to make it easy that your maintenance is 2,000 calories if you begin to eat more than 2,000 calories you gain weight if you eat less you begin to lose weight Uh, one important piece of the puzzle here is that five uh, or 3,500 calories is what is required to create a pound of fat so If you eat 3,500 calories on a regular basis extra on top of the maintenance, then you start to gain body fat, okay? Now, if you overate uh, calories on one day, let's say by 500 or 600, you can do the math. You're not going to gain a pound of fat. And as a matter of fact, just to keep things simple, we realize that there's a lot of other stuff that's involved in the body other than just body fat. So that requires calories. So just because you over ate 500 extra calories doesn't mean all those extra calories go into your deposit for 3,500 uh, calories that will turn into fat. Like it's, it's, it's a little bit more complicated than that. Um, so remember that, okay? And then the following day, if you just get right back onto whatever you're supposed to be doing, you're fine. Like you, if you're supposed to be eating 2000 and one day you just wanted those waffles, you wanted those goddamn waffles. And then you ate, you know, 2,500 or 2,600 or even 3000 calories that day because you really wanted the waffles and they tasted phenomenal and you enjoyed them. You ate them worry free, no guilt attached because it's just food. Um, and then tomorrow you go back to 2000, like that's it. You're back on track that's it nothing bad happened you did not gain a pound of fat right um will the scale say something different perhaps why because food has weight and when you eat anything that's uh has a lot of carbs you will store some water as well and that's okay so that's not fat to make fat appear on your body you need to consistently overeat all right and you're not doing that so um Hopefully that's helpful because that's how I don't worry. Everybody goes through it. I used to be like that. I used to think if I, oh my God, if I overeat on my calories, I'm just going to get fat. Nah, you're not. Okay. Um, And don't get emotionally involved with this. Like you have to start with the understanding and start practicing changing this mindset um, and these beliefs because they're not founded in... not founded in science so um relax uh don't worry too much about each little quote-unquote mess up instead focus more on the long-term consistency so um go ahead and go enjoy those waffles